this is the message that you heard from the beginning. That we should learn from another. We should not be like Cain, who was evil. Who was the evil one who murdered his brother. Not to murder him. Because those things were evil. And his brother's righteous. Do not be surprised, brother, in the world of nature. We know that we have passed out of death into life because we love the brothers. Whoever does not abide, whoever does not love abides in death. Everyone who hates his brother is a murderer. And you know that no murderer has eternal life abiding with him. My friends, if you want to determine for yourself where you stand before God, a key to determining that is determining whether or not according to his standard, he sees you as a murderer. The word of God says that anybody who hates another human being is a murderer. We can look at six of God's commandments to determine whether or not you're a person who loves or a person who hates. What God says in the fifth commandment that you shall honor your mother and father. Have you done that perfectly all of your life? You young people or people who are 50 or older like me, have you always honored your parents? What if God doesn't say that you should honor your parents only if they're honorable? but that we should honor them at all times. And if you have not done that, then God sees that as hate of your parents. The word of God says whoever hates his brother, whoever hates another human being, does not have the love of God abiding in him. And no murderer will enter into the kingdom of God. One of those commandments is that you shall not commit adultery. And Jesus said that adultery is not simply cheating on a husband or a wife. Adultery is looking upon another human being, whether man or woman, and having sexually lustful thoughts in your mind. The Word of God says that whoever lusts after a person has already committed adultery in their heart. But please, don't claim to love another human being if you're walking around here today with lust in your heart, with lust in your eyes, with lust in your thoughts. How many of you young men are raping women in your mind today as you see them walking across the cross them, walking up and down the streets? God does not see that as love. God sees that as hate. I know, huh? <laughs> Seven, one of the commandments is that you shall not steal. You shall not steal. How can you say that you love your neighbor as yourself? How can you say that you're not a hateful human? See that woman? When you take Will you give one of these cards to her when, you, when she comes across? One of the commandments is that you shall not lie. Yes, even lying to another, God bless you, man. Even lying to another human being, God sees as hateful. I'd like to address you, man, for a second. You man who would come up here and say, well, come on. It's okay to lie to my wife or my girlfriend about how she looks, about what she's wearing. No, it's not. How much hate does it take to let your wife or your girlfriend walk out of the house looking foolish, looking funny, because you're afraid that you're going to get in trouble with her if you tell her the truth? You're not loving your wife. You're not loving your girlfriend. You're loving your son. You don't want to end up on the couch. So you'll tell her a lie. Not to make her feel better. Preservation. See, my friends, God's commandments show us that we do not love one another as we should. So many people claim that they're loving. So many people claim that they're good people. They lie and they murder in their heart. They commit adultery. They steal and they cut and belong to other people. And God sees that as hate. The word of God says that hate is murder and no murderer has the eternal life abiding on him. Because God is good, because he is holy and righteous and just, he must punish sin. The punishment that God has assigned for sin is eternity in hell. Now, my friends and I, we don't want that for you. We care about you. We love you as our neighbors. The last thing we want for you is for you to perish in your sin. But this God of adultery with the wicked every day, this, this same God who's wrapped the minds upon the ungodly, the same God who will judge the world in righteousness, the same God who is loving and merciful and gracious and kind. He showed that great love 2,000 years ago when God the Father sent his son to earth, the person of Jesus Christ. Fully God and fully man and without sin. 
who never hated anyone, who never harbored bitterness or resentment to anyone, who never lied or stole or committed a dumb up to mine, or coveted anything. He was God in the flesh, perfect in every way, fully God and fully man, and without sin. And while he yet knew no sin, God the allowed him to die for godless people like us, for ungodly people like us, for people who have sinned against him by hating one another. Three years after that perfect earthly existence, Jesus Christ voluntarily went to the cross. He suffered and died the horrific bloody death he did not deserve to take upon himself the punishment we rightly deserve for our sins against God. So great was his love, there was no hate in him. Three days later, after sacrificing himself on that cross, he rose from the grave forever defeating sin and death. He is alive today. And what God commands of each of us, my friends, all of us, be first, is that we repent, that we turn from our sins, and by faith and by faith alone, receive Jesus Christ as our Lord and our Savior. And if you turn from your sin and put your trust in Christ, if God, by His great love and mercy and grace, causes you to be born again, He will forgive your sins. He will remove them as far as the east is from the west. And He will remember them no more. And you can be brought into right relationship with your Creator. This and for all. This is a message of love. This is a message of love. You do not feel the love for Jesus Christ as a message of love. It is because you love yourself and you love your sin more than you love God. And the love of God is not you. So repent. Turn from your sin. By faith and by faith alone, receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior while God has given you time.